What's up guys and welcome to another top 5. This will be a list of my personal top 5 moments and yours may differ and that's fine but you know just keep it in mind. So this week we're doing the top 5 little Yugi Moto moments. Oh uh, number 5! To start things off I've gone with Yugi's commitment to helping the Pharaoh defeat Pegasus to save his grandpa. The game had been transported into the Shadow Realm, and in order to prevent Pegasus from reading their minds, Yugi and the Pharaoh would have to keep switching to throw him off. However, the pressure of dueling in the Shadow Realm was too much to bear for little Yugi, and he held on to the very last minute, and even set up a strategy to help the Pharaoh win before collapsing. Number 4! Next up, I've gone with a more comedic moment in the series. When you think of funny characters, Yugi isn't usually the one you think of, but he did have one moment that left me laughing. He and Taya cook up a little scheme to help the Pharaoh out, which involved making the Pharaoh basically go on a date. When Yugi switches out against the Pharaoh, we get a great reaction from him, and although the Pharaoh enjoyed the experience in the end, it's still made for a hilarious moment. Cue date montage. Number three. Now it's time to get a bit more serious. Yugi's biggest moment came from when he had to prove himself while separated from the Pharaoh, in which he had to duel Yami Bakura alone. The duel showed how much Yugi had learnt over the years being with the Pharaoh. His use of Silent Swordsman and Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, made the duel absolutely epic. Good on you, Yugi. Number two. So for second place, I've gone for a single moment in the series that shows how unselfish Yugi is. After the Pharaoh is consumed with rage, and despite the warnings from Yugi to not play the seal of Orichalcos, he does so regardless, and because of this, the Pharaoh loses. And as the seal is about to take his soul, Yugi pushes the Pharaoh out of the seal and tells him that he believes in him. It's so touching, so dramatic, so awesome. Well done, Yugi. Number one! And finally, the coveted number one position. This goes to what I think you all could have guessed. Uh, taking place at the very end of the series, uh, it's Yugi versus the Pharaoh. The stakes, the only way the Pharaoh, now known by his true name, Atem, can return home and be at peace is if he is beaten. But who could challenge the King of Games? Well, how about the King of Games himself? Yugi takes up the challenge and proves that he has earned that title. Not only does Yugi dispatch of all three of the Pharaoh's Egyptian God cards in one duel, but he defeats Yugi's ace monster, the Dark Magician, and even predicts what card the Pharaoh will use to defeat him. And despite hesitating to attack a defenseless Pharaoh, he does so for his friend, so he can be free. And as the Pharaoh approaches Yugi, he has a great line where he tells him that a champion shouldn't be on his knees. And uh, yeah, well done Yugi, you really are the king of games. And with that, that's another Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Moments. What did you think of my moments? Are there any that I did miss out? Keep in mind, this is all running from my memory as well, so I might have forgotten a really great moment. But let me know in the comments section below what you thought. What's your top five moments? Uh, any suggestions for any other top fives that you'd like to see? Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.